Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, just want to give you a little bit of an update here on the solar system. Uh, of course, down here I got my four batteries. I got, um, got them set up in parallel, or excuse me, series parallel. That way I've got 24 volts. But just the other day I wound up taking my other two, which I've got sitting down here. And I've got them, now I've got them set up in series, so another 24. So right now I'm sitting at, uh, the calculation is correct, should be 24 volt, 300 amp hour. And no, I have not done any more on the uh, Berker box out here. And that 12.2 uh, Romex, yeah, that's going to be coming out soon. I'm going to be getting that updated a heavier gauge wire and everything that way it comes off of my um, all-in-one the 24 volt all-in-one but uh, yeah I just want to give you an update on it um, I know it's not the greatest in spaghetti wiring but hey um, it's working uh, I will get it tidied up more but as you can tell, I did come off of the other set of batteries with another um, 200 amp fuse going into another disconnect and then that is of course going up to my bus bar um, for having the power. Uh, I figured that's going, you know, having it like that is going to be the easiest. Now, I was watching a video not that long ago and this guy, he was showing how he upgraded his system and I can see a lot of problems that he wound up doing on his batteries he got Battleborn and I don't know why he wouldn't spend that much money I mean I forget I think he was spending over a thousand dollars on each one and I'm going damn I only spent like a hundred and like about 130 bucks on each one of these and of course they had them on they were running special coupons and everything so it dropped the price even down more but, um, yeah, this guy wanted up using um, aluminum uh, pieces to do all that. Then on top of that, I don't know how good it's going to show, but, yeah, I wound up crimping mine on my connectors. And, yeah, I know, I don't have the um, insulator, you know, on there. Hey, I know what I'm doing. I ain't got to worry about it, okay? Um... But anyways, yeah, he wound up soldering all his joints. I'm going, no, that is not going to work. But, um, yeah, the, one of the main reasons is that, like I said, I've been watching a lot of Will Prowse over the years. I got a lot of information from watching his videos and everything. Learned a lot. Not only, you know, him, but all the other guys that's out there on YouTube uh, talking about, you know, solar system. So I finally started getting into it, and this is what I've come up with, and everything. And you know, to be honest, I wouldn't mind having Will uh, look at my system here and tell me what he thinks. Okay? Like I said, I know it's not the best as far as like my spaghetti wiring, but hey, this is what I've got to work with. But as you can tell, okay, so. Up there is where I got my wiring coming in. It's coming through a one of the plastic insulators on the outside. And that is 8 gauge wire coming from my um, uh, the, uh, the box and everything I've cut out there um, with the solar panels. Um, oh, I know what the hell it's called and I can't even think of it. I mean, Will, he's been talking about it. That's how I first... Combiner box. Yeah, I've got... It's a six um, six way um, combiner box where I can have six solar arrays going to it. Uh, hey, 225 volts. I forget the amperage, but hey, I figured why not? I better uh, do something. So I wound up uh, with that high amp. I wound up going to eight gauge wire coming in. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Then I'm going into my little disconnect. Well, hey, I've already got one disconnect in the uh, combiner box, but hey, two is better than one. 
because with that one right there I can flip the power coming you know from the uh, solar panels if I got to work on anything in here so I go all the way out there I can just flip it off here and same way if I'm out there doing some upgrades to solar panels hey I can just sit there and flip you know flip the switch you know, out there the breaker but as you can tell it's going up into the, the all-in-one um, and then coming out of that going into my bus bar and of course from each positive is going down to a disconnect switch which is going over to a 200 amp fuse um, now maybe overkill but hey I'd rather be overkill than underkill on this stuff okay but anyway since I'm on 24 volt I've got the reducer going from 24 down to 12 volt going in to this little uh, fuse block and then of course the red wire and the black wire I've got that coming over to another fuse block here now that wire you see right you know the Romex you see that's that was the old wire that was in here I got that fuse block right there and that's going to my switches right there from the LED lights that's all I'm running I'm running 12 volt LED lights out here but uh, yeah um, I'm trying to get this uh, garage totally 100% actually it is 100% off grid um, eventually I'll be adding some more stuff and yeah I do want to get more batteries get more solar panels stuff like that but anyways you guys uh, tell me what you think uh, Will hey man I'd appreciate it if you take a look at this and tell me what you think and hey if you want yeah you can use the uh any of this in your video for comments and everything i'm not going to complain all right anyways y'all leave me a uh, thumbs up leave me a comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't hit that bell later guys